Hello, welcome to Vedil Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see some oxidizing agents. This video is based on JAM 22 question number 5. Let us see the question. Which one of the following option is best suited for affecting the transformation? Uh, so, we see here uh, there is a reactant and a product that is given and then the reagents are listed in the options. So, we are asked to find out which of these reagents is suitable for to affect this conversion. So, first let us look at the starting material and the product. So, the starting material is an alcohol and an aldehyde containing compound. And so, the alcohol is a secondary alcohol and uh, we see in the product the alcohol is remaining unaffected and only the aldehyde is oxidized to acid. So, we must first understand uh, what are the significance of each of these reagents and which of these reagents will be suitable to selectively convert only an aldehyde to an acid and not uh, convert an alcohol uh, to uh, or not oxidize an alcohol. So, now, now let us first see manganese dioxide. Manganese dioxide uh, is actually in uh, the uh, plus 4 oxidation state. It is a very mild oxidizing agent. And it is very selective for allylic and benzylic alcohols. So, if there is an allylic and benzylic alcohol, it will get oxidized. So, when it is oxidizing an allylic and benzylic alcohol, uh, MnO that is Mn in plus 2 oxidation state is formed as the byproduct. And when we are talking about allylic alcohols, the primary allylic alcohols will yield aldehyde and a secondary allylic alcohol will yield ketone. So, there is an example here. So, in this example we see uh, this is an allyl alcohol. What is an allyl alcohol? An allyl alcohol is an alcohol which has uh, the OH group on the carbon next to the double bond. So, there is a double bond here. So, this double bond uh, uh, and the carbon next to the double bond is called as the allylic carbon, allylic carbon and so this alcohol is called as the allylic alcohol. So, uh, in case of uh, manganese dioxide, the allylic alcohol only gets converted and because this is a primary allylic alcohol, it results in an aldehyde. Another thing that we must remember about manganese dioxide oxidizing allylic and benzylic alcohol is the reactivity which will react faster. So, it is always seen that primary allylic alcohols um, uh, uh, are uh, more um, reactive than that of saturated alcohol. So, if there is a, uh, a normal primary alcohol or a secondary alcohol and there is the presence of allylic or benzylic alcohol moiety in the reactant, then the reaction will happen only at the allylic alcohol or the benzylic alcohol. It will not react with the primary uh, alcohol moiety or the secondary alcohol moiety that is present. So, let us see this example. So, this example is a classical example where we see this is a normal primary alcohol, but this is actually a benzylic alcohol. So, because, because benzene CH2, benzylic alcohol is this. This is benzylic alcohol and this is carbon CH2OH. So, this is allylic alcohol. So, in this particular example, we see um, there is a benzylic alcohol moiety and a normal saturated alcohol moiety here, primary alcohol moiety here, but the alcohol moiety remains unaffected. Only the benzylic alcohol moiety is converted into the ketone. Why is it converted into a ketone? Because it is a secondary benzylic alcohol. So, this is secondary benzylic because here you see this is primary and this is a secondary benzylic alcohol. So, the secondary benzylic alcohol is converted into a ketone and whereas MnO2 does not affect primary alcohol moiety whenever there is a uh, competition between allylic and a primary alcohol. So, whether it is allylic or benzylic, selective oxidation of 
allylic and ben benzylic alcohol moieties only will happen and uh, this is what is being said so secondary benzylic alcohol is faster than the primary benzylic so in total what do we see about mno2 mno2 is a mild oxidizing agent it selectively oxidized uh, oxidizes allylic and benzylic alcohols only so uh, to what it will be oxidized either to an aldehyde or, or to a ketone based on the primary or secondary carbon natures so now let's go to the next so dmso cocl uh, twice uh, triethylamine so this combination react reagent is uh, um, used in what is called as swern oxidation so this is also an oxidizing agent and uh, it is a named reaction so swern oxidation again it is a mild oxidizing agent wherein you don't want to convert a primary alcohol to a carboxylic acid you want to stop the reaction at the aldehyde stage uh, you use swern oxidation so like other mild oxidizing agents so using dmso uh, cocl twice um, it is easy to convert a primary alcohol to an aldehyde and a secondary alcohol to a ketone and stop the reaction there the reaction will not proceed further to carboxylic acid so it is in advantage of swern oxidation so here we see uh, this is a, the first example you see here this is a primary alcohol so it results in a aldehyde likewise this is a secondary alcohol so it results in a ketone so no further reactions happen it doesn't convert to cooh no reaction so that is the advantage of using swern oxidizing agents the oxidation reaction conditions so next is the aluminum propoxide reagent so in this particular uh, reagent we see um, it is a very beautiful uh, equilibrium reaction wherein uh, you have a secondary alcohol and a ketone reacted upon and this reagent is used as the catalyst and the product will be the uh, uh, it is a mutual reaction wherein uh, the secondary alcohol will be converted into the ketone and the ketone will be converted into uh, the secondary alcohol so it is a mutual exchange of hydrogen transfer from the alcohol to the ketone in the presence of this catalyst so basically uh, this reaction uh, is called as uh, mervin pondroff valery reduction reaction when you are um, looking at reducing a ketone to an alcohol so if this is if it is if the forward reaction is primarily aimed at converting a ketone to an alcohol then it is called as a reduction reaction and when you are using it as a reduction reducing agent what you use is the isopropyl alcohol so here the isopropyl alcohol is also one of the reagent and it is uh, giving its hydrogen to the ketone to form the respective secondary alcohol so this reaction is called reduction reaction when we use known proportion of isopropyl alcohol and so the byproduct will be acetone so the reverse reaction that is when an alcohol in the presence of acetone results in the formation of a ketone so here a ketone is formed so alcohol is oxidized to a ketone then it is called as opener oxidation so this is what is the role in this particular uh, particular example that we are seeing so opener oxidation is where a secondary alcohol isopropyl alcohol is a secondary alcohol is converted to a ketone so here whenever you want to convert a secondary alcohol to a ketone you use acetone and this particular reagent and then it will be converted into a ketone again here the reaction does not proceed to the formation of the acid so this is the third reagent next uh, we will see ag2o ammonium hydroxide so in total this is actually uh, forming um, uh, silver ammonium complex 
and this is uh, commonly called as Tollens reagent. So this Tollens reagent is a very popular reagent wherein aldehydes can be oxidized selectively in the presence of other functional groups. So when there are so many other functional group, hydroxyl functional group, then uh, it is possible to selectively oxidize only uh, aldehyde. So when you are talking about selectively oxidizing aldehyde, what would happen to silver? So here in this particular example, you know pretty well, um, silver is the oxid which is in plus one oxidation state will be converted into silver metal or in other words, it, it, is, it results in the formation of silver mirror. So we also know that Stalin's reagent is popularly used in the um, identification of reducing sugars wherein reducing sugars will reduce Stalin's reagent that is silver mirror will be formed. So we know all reducing sugars have an aldehyde group, free aldehyde group. Uh, in spite of having many hydroxyl group, only the aldehyde moiety will be oxidized. So the same kind of reaction is possible for any organic molecule. And so the uh, uh, important thing to notice only aldehydes uh, will react with Tollens reagent. No other reagent, sorry, no other functional group will react with Tollens reagent and the aldehyde will be converted to an acid. So this is the reaction wherein we see the aldehyde is converted to an acid and then silver ammonium complex results in the formation of silver metal in zero oxidation state. So silver is reduced and the aldehyde is oxidized. Now let's go back to the question. So which one of the following option is best suited for affecting the transformation? Now, having known the nature of the reagents, it's now possible for us to tell. So, first we know MnO2 will convert allylic and benzylic alcohols to aldehydes or ketones. So, in this particular case, neither do we have allylic, neither do we have benzylic alcohol. So, MnO2 is ruled out. Now, going over to uh, the Swan oxidation condition, here it says primary and secondary alcohols are converted into aldehyde and ketone. In this molecule, we see this particular group is a secondary alcohol. So, this secondary alcohol moiety is remaining unchanged. So, this DMSO also, the, the Swan oxidation condition also does not rule right because uh, the OH group is not converted. Now, the third condition, again here also, uh, the secondary alcohol is the one which will be converted to ketone. Here again, we see this the secondary alcohol is unaffected in this particular reaction. So, this reagent does not hold good. So, now finally, we know now that a, uh, Stalin's reagent is the only ideal or suitable reagent when aldehyde group is converted into the acid group in the presence of an alcoholic group. So, the correct answer is uh, the fourth answer which is Ag2O in the presence of ammonium hydroxide where the aldehyde is converted into the acid group. So, this is how we see. So, this aldehyde, only this aldehyde is oxidized to acid and in the result we have silver mirror. I hope uh, you understood how to solve this question. Thank you.